Well, hello there. How you doing? Good? You good? Good. Uh, cause today we're gonna have a little bit more fun with Japanese. You ready to get on in? Cause, uh... Look, I got no big news to share today. Let's just jump jump in here and start Japaneseing, shall we? All right, here's the thing. I'm not gonna do a big old fancy review this time. Uh, let me say this though. I want to repeat this. Something that I always have to repeat. You should still be doing. You should. Excuse me. You should be doing your a, e, u, a, and o, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, unless you feel just oh so comfortable with this set already like I told you last time if you're comfortable with this set or maybe you're comfortable up to here or maybe you're comfortable up to here that's uh, up to you I can't tell you where to start reviewing every time uh, you really got to feel it out for yourself uh, I would say if we're already at like 9 and 10 and you've been doing this as prescribed by Dr. Valen, uh, in other words, repeating all of the old characters as you do the new characters, then you probably have a pretty good grasp on Ayueo, and dare I say, maybe Kaki Kukeko and Sashi Suseso. Uh, once you start getting over here, you might need a couple more rounds of that repeating, but again, that's basically just up to you, so. Uh, anyway, we did last time finish 9 and 10. Uh, and they were pretty easy now, weren't they? So, uh, today's review will just be those characters for now. Alright? So here we go. Let's take it from the top on the R column. Da. D. By the way, you can do it like this too, that's fine. Do. B. Do. All right, fairly easy column, right? And then we had... Wa. Oh, now remember this is W-O, but it's... For now, for for you, it's O. Oh, just pronounce it as O. Oh. I don't want to start confusing you. This will come into play later. Don't worry about the fact that there's W there for now. Just pronounce it as O. Oh. Okay. Thank you, thank you. And the last one. Hmm. It's just, just the letter N. Mm, it's the only one that's just a consonant, all right? That was your sparkling review for the day. I hope you enjoyed that tasty sparkling review. Uh, so let's get rid of all this. And uh, you know what? Actually, before we move on too far, I do want to go over one more thing about the uh, R column because this, this trips some people up in terms of pronunciation. So it's not... How should I say this? If you pronounce the letter R, any word starting with R in English, you're likely to say, uh, for example, let's, let's, okay, let's take a really good example here. The word, how would you pronounce this in English? Ramen, right? It's a real hard, er, er. In Japanese, it's not er, it's the da, da. So, you can probably hear the difference there. It's a mix between R and L. Okay, it's somewhere in between these two characters, or these two pronunciations. And how I can best describe that is... Uh, okay, bring out, bring out the drawing skills here. This... let's say this abomination is the inside of your mouth. <laughs> uh, so... When you say, uh, when you pronounce things with the letter R in English, your tongue er, is probably doing something like that, right? So the point is, it's not, it's not touching your teeth. It's not touching the roof of your mouth. It's just like scrunched up in the middle uh, of the bottom portion of your mouth, right? Er, er. Yeah. So here's the thing. In Japanese, how you would best pronounce this character, or, or I should say, da, for example, would be to do the same thing you're doing right now with the letter R for English, but move it up and touch the middle portion of the uh, roof of your inside of your mouth. Okay? So, it should start looking like uh, 
that instead, right? So you're doing like, uh, la, you're going like, la, la, ramen. Whereas in English, you just say, ramen, right? So can you see the difference in that? This is, um, <laughs> the best way that I know how to explain it. I'm very sorry about that, but, uh, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, you will have plenty of time to practice it, okay? And that goes for all of the characters, not just uh, R A, not just da, nah, it's D D D Do. You hear the difference there? Ra da Re D Ru Du. Right, can, can you hear the difference between if I do some kind of exaggerated English and Japanese accent there? Um, I'm sure a native Japanese person is can obviously do it better than me. Don't Take let's take the complaint hats completely off today, okay? No complaint hats, please. I'm doing my best, and I'm doing my best to teach you. All right, that's the pronunciation tip for the day. Before we move on, uh, I did want to mention that last time, but uh, <laughs> your old pal Valen forgot. Ah, the old uh, noggin ain't what it used to be. So here's what we're gonna do today. You should still be doing your I U A O and and all the way down to the last character we did. Mm. Okay, if you're not ready to move on to what I'm about to show you, then don't. <laughs> Keep watching the videos. Go back to the last one if you need to and repeat it or just put all the videos on pause and study by yourself repeating the characters if you need to. However you need to do it, do it. But uh, if those characters are not solidified in your memory yet, I suggest that you don't move on past that point you can still watch the videos and enjoy yourself you know like and subscribe and support your pal valen but uh, i would not start doing this right now and what is this uh hey we're gonna we're gonna do the first two columns of the ten ten and Maru. okay so we're gonna have a little bit of practice here with old characters anyway and uh here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull pull them back up you've seen this you should be very well versed with this by now right ka so, if you remember, I told you, if you add the ten-ten mark, right, that's what that quotation-looking thing is, ten-ten, and uh, it's on your chart here, and you'll see it says ga gi gu ge go I explained many videos back, but if you're, for some reason, jumping in right now, uh, what are you doing, but, okay, but for some reason you're doing that, um, basically, this what this denotes here on the bottom of the chart is that if you put this character, the 1010 mark, um, off to the top right of each character, it changes it from a K to a G. Um, the vowel stays the same. It's still going to be I U A O, but it's gonna, instead of being Kaki Kukeko, it's going to be Gagi Gugego. Right? So this would be Ga. Okay? It's still written the same. You're just adding 1010. Ga. All right? Okay, let's keep going here. And this would be... So it was key, now it's gi. And yes, you can do it that way too. This is still the same thing. Alright, gi. Mm. <laughs> and what's this one? Gu. Gu. Gu gu ga ga, by the way, is not what babies say in Japanese. They say ba bu. Ba bu. So uh, if you want to, for some reason, babble like a baby, there you go. It would You would not use gu. That's an English thing. All right, that is gu. And what would this be? Ge. This is ke, and this is ge. All right. We got PKP Psycho Z in the chat. What's up, my friend? Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Moving along, we've got this one. Yours and my favorite. This is normally cool, but if we add 1010, it is now... Go. 
Alright. Goal. Do you remember me, Lamau? Of course I remember you. You're, you're practically my brother. Thought we bonded. Jeez. Alright, that is a goal. See, these are, these are real easy, guys. And you'll notice we also skipped IEAO. What, what's the reason behind that? I mean, I told you this before, but if you do this, this does not mean anything. Don't you, don't you dare do that. Get this out of here. Don't, don't use it on, ah, this is not going to be a thing. That's why we skipped that entire IUAO column. And you'll notice right here too, there is nothing there. All right. So it's only the columns that have that stuff in it. And next, we're going to move on to the SA column, which you should already be very familiar with by now. So this is SA, and now this is ZA. And yes, you can do it like this too. ZA. It doesn't matter if there's the hole or not. That was ZA. Shi. Okay. All right, here's where things get testy. Here's here's where you're going to fail out of the Navy SEALs or not, all right? This is she. Did you notice down here, it, it says za, and then it says ji. She. And now it is ji. Why is it not z? Z? I mean, I, uh, I don't know. I guess if you pronounce z as a j, it could be. Right? Because that's how it's done in uh, Chinese. Well, kind of. Anyway, this is not a Chinese stream. This is a Japanese stream. So do what I say. This is G. All right. Once more here. G. All right. Next we have Su, which would turn into Zu. So you'll notice af after that uh, she character, it is Zu, Ze, Zo. There are no more J's in this column. That's the only funky one we had, right? So this Su would turn into Zu. If you add ten ten, it is now Zu. Zu. Alright. And Se. Remember the stroke order? It is now Ze. So you are teaching English in Japan? Absolutely not. I will never teach English. I am. Look, when I go back to the year 2021, 2020, when I'm doing my time traveling, I uh, work as a translator. You will not catch me dead inside of one of those language teaching schools. That is uh, a much hated stereotype, I think. <laughs> Again, that is Ze, and, and my god, we did a nice big boy there. Don't do it like that. How many languages do you speak? I speak English. Uh, I used to speak Chinese, but uh, I've been living in Japan for way too long. So obviously I speak Japanese too. And I took Spanish in high school, but besides uh, pantalones and gato, I don't think I know much of anything anymore in that language. All right. Your friend Sol, if you had Tintin, is now Zol. Remember, if you want to do this right, start with start with a kind of wide stretched out Z and then give it a nice little loopy tail. Oh, that is Sol. But if we had Tintin, it is now Zol. All right. Hey, boom. Done it. You like that? We have now done both of these sets here. And to be honest, uh, this should not be difficult for you. Because uh, basically, if you followed everything we've done to this point... Why is this arrow still here? Please get out of here. Thank you. Um, if you've done all of these already, and like I mentioned before, you, you've reviewed enough that you're comfortable with these, um, going back and doing these parts should not be a problem. It's just adding a little tiny quotation mark thing there at the top. PKP Psycho Z says, I'm trying to learn Spanish right now. We're slowly learning Japanese. Your stream is super helpful. Ah ha ha ha. Uh, that was him laughing, not me. 
because I don't find it funny. I find it very nice. Thank you very much for telling me that. Um, I appreciate it. All of you that stop by and, and give me those little uh, thank you for the stream comments. I love you guys. Come on. I'm a small time here. I gotta appreciate it where, where I can get it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, we could move on, but we are not going to. I do not want to overload brains. You, you will start seeing this stuff in the next episode, okay? So, before you go jumping ahead and thinking, oh, you're so smart. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna do the other ones too. You, uh, what's the problem? It's not that hard. Every time I tell you, if you put too much on yourself each day, you're gonna fail. It's gonna not stick in your head. You're gonna have to do it again anyway. So don't pile on the work on yourself when it's not necessary. Just do these two per day. Okay? Um, so what? I, how, how would I recommend throwing this into your rotation? Like if you're doing your uh, e, u, a, o, oh my god. This, <laughs> the faster I go, the, the sloppier it's gonna get. Uh, and ka, maybe after you write ka, you also write ga and say say it in your head or out loud probably out loud's best but say it ka ga right ki and then maybe you do gi okay this is one way to do it if this if you want to if you still want to review everything because you're not fully comfortable with them yet another way to do it would be um instead of writing for example both ka and oops both ka and ga just do ga start a new rotation basically okay so that's how i would recommend uh continuing on with our method the other thing i want to go over today is another vocabulary word now uh what made you start streaming um oh that's uh that's classified information but uh <laughs> It's for you. I stream for you. That's why. Let's go over the old vocabulary first, shall we? Remember this one? This should be in your rotation right now. And don't do that last stroke all in one. That's just being lazy. It's technically two strokes. Watashi, I or me. <laughs> you don't need to write it, Valen. It's right there. Okay. And we also did... Hito? Person? Yeah, I, I, come on, guys. This, this should take you, like, a day max to remember. Like, a couple of rotations of the review, and that's it. And... Namai. And as we said, this is two kanji, right? Na... Mai. Namai. Name. Easy, right? So that's the kanji review for now. And today's new word is actually not going to be a kanji. It's going to be a set of three hiragana. A, na, ta. Anata means you. Uh, like literally the word you in English. <laughs> Just uh, in case anybody's gonna get confused there. Um, so we know watashi is I or me and if you write out ah na ta anata means you. Here's the thing though, I want to tell you to be careful with this because we use the word you in English for all sorts of things. Um like when we're hypothetically explaining like um how do you get from point A to point B? How do you you see how we put the word you in there? That doesn't you don't do that in Japanese. The word you is actually very rarely used in Japanese, to be honest. Uh, and and as a translator, I see this I see the word anata come up more in tr translations from English to Japanese that were directly translated more than I see it in natural Japanese. Um, and when I see it directly translated into anata, um I die a little bit inside every time because it, it just shouldn't be. Do not directly translate you as anata in every case in Japanese. It shouldn't. Uh, a lot of the time it goes unsaid. The context is clear who is being talked about. But um, 
really so when well when when would you use it valen uh why don't you stop telling me when you wouldn't and start telling me when you would uh so the answer to that is uh basically if you really don't know the other person's name but you have to say something to them right now i, I don't even know of a good example for this because it's just not used but i need you to know it because the, the points where it is do you is used are very important so i want you to throw this word into your rotation okay and it shouldn't be a problem because you're already doing these hiragana right so oops just throw that in your rotation anata obviously you want to do them all together like if you're if you're gonna say oh valen i'm already studying them yeah but they're out of order so they're not the word i mean you might as well say I, I'm studying how to say Valen by writing out the alphabet A, B, C. Yeah, V, A, L, E, N are in there somewhere, but that's, that's not really studying the word, right? So you have to write this in in line, right? Whoops. Anata. And then think in your head, and, or say out loud, Anata, and say, and think in your head, you. That's the meaning of it, okay? Okay, throw it into your rotation, memorize it, uh, and we will be making use of it later. And you might start wondering like whoa, whoa where are we going with this i am slowly introducing you to the vocabulary to the chapter one of the textbook mina no nihongo uh like i told you for those of you who are taking this very seriously you i i do recommend that you get a textbook and i do recommend that you get mina no nihongo um that is what i'm gonna base a lot of lessons off of i'm gonna kind of try to make my own improvements to what was in this book uh in terms of like how i teach you and stuff like for example they start you off with just hiragana for watashi but you very rarely would write it that way you'd always write it i don't want to say always but usually write it as um kanji like this right watashi so that's why i'm having you memorize the kanji first and it's a good introduction into kanji as well um so that's what we're doing that's what we're working towards okay and uh that would pretty much do it um oh my god it's so cold i want to say thank you by the way to all of our recent followers i know that i stream real early in the morning for you if you're over like in the united states but uh look i gotta scavenge the waste during the day so you know it's not something you like me doing. Uh, cold is the best weather. I'm gonna have to say I agree. Only because the two options are hot or cold. <laughs> At least where I live. And I would take cold over hot any day. I do not like sweating. I do not like stickiness. And uh, you know what? That's another thing. Hey, 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 all of you people who complain when the air conditioner's on in the summer, what is your problem? You can put on more clothes and jackets. You can get gloves. You can put a blanket around you and be fine. I cannot get any more than naked if it's really hot. And uh, once I'm naked and I'm still sweating, that's a problem. Um, again, for the followers, uh, to the guys who are sending me screenshots of their work so far, good job, keep it up. Um, thank you to everybody who's followed recently i mean who we, who we even got here tons of people i haven't said thanks to <laughs> totally not joseph lamau gummy bear 772 frauk sir snoofala slight tech yeah at with maxis 321 remy i queen of scotland freak wharf abby though yes quest more land and v for dyslexia Ouch, if you are suffering from dyslexia, uh, I don't know how to help you out with Japanese, but I think you can do it. If you've overcome dyslexia in English, I think Japanese should only be easier, hopefully. Affiliate soon? Hey, <laughs> I mean, if you think I got the chaps what it takes to be an affiliate, well, uh, I would wholeheartedly agree. And uh, I do hope so. Um... I don't know that we're gonna get it there not streaming the games anymore i have i have not kept up with streaming the games uh cyberpunk has been a blast um but as soon as i started 
the Learn Japanese series, um, we got a lot of people who are counting on me to, to keep those episodes coming. So that's what I'm working on mostly. I will um, get back into Cyberpunk soon. I've got a ton of Cyberpunk episodes that still need to be cut up for YouTube. So if you're watching over on the tubes uh, and you want some gameplay from your old skillful pal, Valen Hark, uh, keep your eyes peeled because they are coming. Anyway, that's probably all I got for today, guys. I mean, this is good. This has been a quick one, but um, just some housekeeping stuff we had to do. Um, keep studying the hiragana. I know that some of you feel like you're falling behind and we're moving very quick, but uh, it's it's a video, so it'll stay there. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to go in real time with me. You can watch them again. Isn't that nice? Those of you who have been keeping up, though, um, very impressive. Very nice. Yeah, definitely keep that up. Uh, because I am going very fast. So, anyway, I do think we're going to call it right there. I will do another episode very soon. Uh, as always, guys. And uh, PKP Psycho Z as well, joining us tonight for the whole, the whole uh, mini lesson here. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, and I will... See you next time, so take care.